Confessions. I was robbed. Almost. Confessions of an Uber Lyft driver story. Episode number, I forget, but it will be in the title, the episode number. So this is a pretty short story, but wow, some people, man. So I'm driving along. Uh, there's a few uh, uh, kids in the you know, back seat, either high school or college, I don't know. So upper teens somewhere, maybe. I don't even know if they were minors or adults. Don't know, don't care. <laughs> so I got my tip jar back there and I can see it out of my peripheral vision. It hangs off the back headrest of my passenger side front seat. So it's facing anybody in the back seat. They can see it. There's money in it and it's just a great idea. It definitely increases my tips. So I'm driving along and I can see the dude. I can see him very sneakily like he did. He has no clue I can see him taking the money. It's like, wow, got it. there's like $3 in there. <laughs> and then uh, I get to where they're going and they got a lot of groceries in the, in the trunk. So they unload everything. Uh, and just when they're to the last part of it, I uh, unclasp the tip jar. And I notice that the dummy, when he took the lid off, he left it on the, on the floor. But anyway, I took the tip jar, tip jar off, walked around to the back of the car where the one of the dudes was, and I said, hey, the kid that took this money, if you don't retrieve it for me right now, I'm calling the police, and I'll have Uber permanently deactivate your account. And he's like, oh, man, just, you know, real stupid feeling. You can see it all over his face. So he wasn't the one that did it. It was one of his friends, but he let him do it. So it's not like I was letting him off the hook. And I was actually polite about it. Uh, main reason, you know, uh, disarm dissension. I have no idea how they'd react, but I felt safe, you know, given their age and the whole demeanor of everything. And we were in a very well lit place, people walking around. It was just as the sun was starting to set, cars nearby, people nearby, all that stuff. So I didn't feel like I was in any danger or something like that. So he runs into the house, he gets the money right away from the kid that took it. And he's like, I'm so sorry for my stupid friend. Just nod my head. Uh, so I did not call the police, but I did call Uber and let them know what had happened and recommended to them they seriously consider permanently deactivating their account so that they can't try to rob another driver. Now the whole ride, they were actually very polite. So part of me is like, oh man, that's kind of heartbreaking. People put on a face, two face, or you know, a good face one way, and then you wouldn't suspect that they would be the, the same people that would try to steal. And not just steal, but tip money from a service worker. What kind of a loathsome, low-life creature do you have to be to do that? This happened once before. And again, I retrieved my money. Completely different story how it all turned out, but it all turned out okay for me. Um, and you can look that up that's in my YouTube playlist for the Uber and Lyft stories. I've got them all in one playlist. So there's another one where it tried to rob me. But uh, so that's, you know, two for two, got my money back safely. And that's about, I'm somewhere between 19,000 and 20,000 rides. That's pretty good ratio. That is a really good ratio. I have no complaints about that. And as long as my mom always safe and I should be okay. But my question for you is what would you have done? Would you have even factored in, okay, does this feel safe or unsafe if I try to get my money back? Uh, I think it's worthwhile factoring in for me, but would you factor that in? Or just no matter what, you wouldn't even ask for it because concerned for your safety. And if you do deem it safe to get your money back, how would you go about it? Is there something different that you would have done from what I did? Would you try to maybe humiliate them more? They were pretty humiliated by my just my simple approach that I took. And I don't know if they learned their lesson. Probably not. Maybe they did. I really don't know. But uh, so that's my story with this one. And as always, I'll keep adding more because... This is pretty interesting to put together this playlist, basically a, a, a journal of my more interesting rides, all kinds of different. Most of them are actually pretty positive and pretty good. This is one of the, you know, the crappier stories where someone tried to steal money out of a tip jar from a service worker. Wow. I mean, I wouldn't have missed $3, but it's the concept, the principle of it all. And I'm always thinking about the next person, like, you know, the next person maybe isn't doing okay and they are struggling financially and maybe that three dollars would have been a big deal or, or maybe it would have been 20 bucks for that person struggling you just never know so hopefully uber did investigate this and and did something proactive to help prevent this from happening again by this particular passenger 
All right, TomBirkenmeyer.com is my website. Just like it's spelled here on social media, TomBirkenmeyer.com. I've also got TopStarDriver.com. And that's the page specifically where it would be easiest to find this collection of videos of my more interesting rides. Bye for now, everybody. Looking forward to reading your comments about how you might have responded if it was different than mine or, or what have you. Mwah.